Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Ooh, it's Saturday night. I got three left to do, and I'm hoping to get them all done before I gotta go to bed. So, who are we reading next? Libra, you're up. All right. Okay. <clears throat> this reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. With the message given to the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate and you think you may want something that might resonate a little bit better, check your moon rising or Venus side readings. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And cross watchers are always welcome here. And I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate everybody stopping by. So if I forget to say it at the end, thanks for coming by. Okay. What's going on with Libra? Their message for the month of July. A delayed message, but sometimes the delayed messages are the ones that resonate best. Why are you here, Libra? Three of Wands. Somebody's waiting. You could have someone waiting on you. You could be waiting on someone. Take it however resonates. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Three of Cups. It's a beautiful, wonderful connection. You could possibly think of them as a very good friend. You hang out, you have a good time. Okay. What do you think of them? Page of Wands. Hmm. They are a go-getter. Possibly a fire sign you're dealing with. I have two fire sign cards here. Very... They're a go-getter. They want what they want, and they want it now. They are raring, hitting the ground, running. Hmm. I'll throw a clarifier on that in a minute. What do you want from them? Five of Wands. Confrontational energy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to throw a clarifier on that. It doesn't make any sense. It might make sense if I throw something else on top of it. How do they feel about you? The sun. They feel a connection with you. You make them happy. You bring sunshine into their life, perhaps. Hey, look, it's another card where three people are having a good time. Hmm. What do they think of you? Ace of Wands. They definitely want to get something started. They want to strike that match, see how long it's going to burn. I mean, okay. What do they want from you? Queen of Wands reversed. Hmm. Okay. Y'all waiting on each other, perhaps. The obstacle or challenge in this connection is the Three of Swords. Someone is still dealing with a heartache. Okay. Someone's still in process mode. So, let me get this straight. Definitely a connection. 
definitely a friendship type bond. They want to get something started. You know they want to get something started because they hit the ground running. This is where it gets choppy. Dealing with a heartache. Okay, what can be done? Five of Swords picking up pieces. Okay. Libra. It's a lot of wands. A lot of wands. There's a Leo card. A Leo could be involved in this mix somehow. Possibly. Take it over. It resonates if it resonates. If it's setting off an alarm in your head, you know. Huh. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards in the ticket for Libra for the month of July, please? that these three okay why is the five of wands here if I don't have to throw a clarifier on it I'm not gonna just saying y'all want me to get to the point right uh, the Emperor and the Empress came out hmm. okay comes out. So you want, okay. So, if, okay. I'm gathering what I should be gathering. You want the match set. You want the connection. You want to be their emperor or you want to be their empress. You want the matched pair. You want the completion. One more on this five of wands. start in love. It's not explaining the five of wands. Perhaps there's a confrontation that needs to happen. Change. The fives are change. The ones speak of action. Perhaps there needs to be a change in how you're dealing with each other, or how you deal with confrontation. 
Okay. Perhaps. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here for what the other person wants from Libra? Come on. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Oh my goodness. Well, it's two more. Pardon me. Seven pentacles reversed, four of swords. The five of wands comes between the four of wands and the six of wands. It comes between stability and victory. It's a threshold. Queen of Wands in the reverse. She's intuitive, she's fiery, she's a go-getter. In the reverse, she's a woman who doesn't know her worth. She's complacent. Why is the Three of Swords here? I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna. Why is the Three of Swords here? Wow, I don't need five cards. Try again. See if that Nine of Cups comes back out. Temperance reversed. someone's still dealing with a heartache, you both could be still dealing with a heartache. Perhaps maybe you hurt each other. There's negative energy flow between you with this temperance reversed. Perhaps there's a lack of patience. There's a seven of pentacles down here in the reverse. Also a lack of patience. Star in the reverse. Lack of healing. Somebody got a little bit impatient with this connection. Someone wants to cross the threshold and do things the natural order of things. Someone may be a little bit too much of a go-getter.
they want you to lay something to rest. They want to manifest this with you, but they want it to be fair and equal. And they don't want to put the work into something that is never going to fruit. That's what I'm getting out of this. Okay. I don't think it's you, Libra. I think it might be the other person that got a little bit impatient. And it, okay. Eight of Swords reversed and the Ace of Wands in the upright. Both came out without intention. I'm going to put them right there. Someone... One of you or the both of you could just need to come out of your head about something in order to strike this match. You need to come out of that cage of your own thoughts. Stop impeding progress, possibly. Why is the Five of Swords here? For what can be done for Libra in this connection. Why is the Five of Swords here? Six of Swords reversed. Okay. Picking up pieces, returning. Fool in the reverse, not being so quick to jump. Ten of Cups, Page of Wands, King of Swords. Logical, non-emotional decisions to find your happiness and to move forward on the path. Okay. Okay. Libra, what are we doing here? Logical, non emotional decisions. Not being so quick to jump, picking up pieces. Hmm, okay. Let's get your advice. I don't want to beat a dead horse here. I mean, obviously you want this connection. But the person you're dealing with, that's a little shaky. I think they have some deep-seated... I think they could be the one who's still dealing with the heartache. Possibly. Let's get your advice. Four of Wands, Upright, Ten of Swords, Reversed. In order to have that celebration and to find that stability and get what you're waiting for and you're wanting, to, to go to that next step You have to complete a cycle that was never completed. You have to end a chapter. You have to allow the sun to shine again. Ten of Swords reversed. Something I left hanging out there. You have to complete the cycle first. Four of Cups in the reverse, the star in the reverse. If you keep your head buried in the sand and you don't see 
what the universe is trying to hand you and you continue to ignore it, the necessary healing may never come. That's weird. You have to have self-healing and self-love. one more off of this. Strengthen the full reversed. Get to a place where you can trust yourself and trust yourself enough to trust the person that you're dealing with before you jump. So I have a feeling you're already doing what you're supposed to be doing, Libra. You just need to continue on that path. Yeah, I definitely think the other person is being a little bit more impatient than you are. I don't want to throw shade. Just what I'm seeing. Okay. Six of Cups reversed and Three of Pentacles. It may be difficult, but not impossible, to build a foundation with someone who might have salty feelings towards you. Difficult, not impossible. Again, it's all about how you relate to each other. There's a little bit of negative energy flow going on here. Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Wands in the upright. The second most non-committal card. Wow. Okay. Good things come to those who wait. Might be a commitment waiting for you here. Eight of Wands, Upright, Shadow Side, in the Reverse. You will have faster forward movement once you shake off some cement shoe connections. You know what I'm talking about? Those things that you are connected and bounded to so heavily that drag you down so far. It's very hard to move forward when those things continue to weigh you down. So, like I said, Libra, I think you're already doing what you're doing. And you know what you're supposed to be doing. So I'm going to trust that you're good. Alright. I'm going to check out for the month. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Monday morning. It's Saturday night right now. So for the work week top and bottom of the deck. And I hope you guys have, have had a fabulous July. And will continue to have a fabulous July. So be blessed. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. Take care. Love you to bits. Catch you later.